Apple's virtual iPhone event kicked off today at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything that was announced. Before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So starting off, the first product released today was the HomePod Mini, and as the name already suggests, it is the smaller version of the original HomePod. It will be available for pre-order on November 6th for $99. The HomePod Mini has a spherical design and it is wrapped in a seamless mesh fabric that's transparent to the sound passing through it. It also has a backlit touch surface on the top for quick control, great sound quality for a speaker of its size, an intelligent smart assistant which recognizes up to six different voices, and it gives you the option to control your smart home. Also, if you're listening to a podcast at home, for example, but needs to head out, you can continue to listen on your iPhone. You only need to bring your iPhone close to it, and that's it. Apple also introduced Intercom, which is a new way to communicate with your family members, as you will have the option to ask Siri to send your message to the whole house or individual rooms, and everyone can easily respond. Apple also talked about the privacy and security, and they said that the HomePod Mini is designed to keep your personal information safe. Now, let's talk about the new iPhones. Four new iPhones were released at the event, the iPhone 12 mini, 12, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. So overall, two lower-end models, one with 5.4 and one with a 6.1-inch display, aluminum body, and two cameras, and two premium models, the Pro models, with a 6.1 or a 6.7-inch display, three cameras, LiDAR scanner, and stainless steel body. As expected, all of them resemble the iPhone 4 and iPad Pro. They now have OLED displays and 5G connectivity support. All iPhone 12 models also feature a new ceramic shield front cover for improved durability, and the drop test performance is supposed to be four times improved. Besides, the whole lineup currently has the A14 Bionic chip, which is the first 5 nanometer chip in the industry, extremely efficient and brings great battery life to the iPhones. They didn't really mention battery life in the event, but from what I saw, the battery is kind of the same as the iPhone 11 lineup. Now, there is a new magnet-based MagSafe system on the back of the iPhones that allows for precise wireless charging and easy to attach accessories from Apple, like a new wallet and new wireless chargers. Talking about the accessories inside the box, Apple is removing the power adapter and earpods from the box. They said they're often unused, but they're including the fast charging USB-C to lightning cable that most people need. Apple also said that they are transitioning their manufacturing partners to renewable energy, and this eliminates over 2 million metric tons of carbon emissions annually. I have to confess that this change will not really make a difference for me, but I am not 100% in favor of this change for two reasons. First of all, many users do have a bunch of power adapters at home, however, Apple is not now adding an USB-C to lightning cable inside the box, and the previous power adapters had a USB-C port, which means that even previous iPhone users may need to buy new adapters, so it doesn't really make sense. Second, I think this will not be that great for first-time iPhone users that are not extremely familiar with tech. I have a feeling that many people will not think that they have to buy a power adapter alongside the new iPhone. So again, it doesn't really make sense to me. But overall, I'm okay with this. I think it really won't change my life because I do have a bunch of power adapters at home. However, I believe that many of you agree that this is not 100% correct. Talking about the cameras, the iPhones 12 and 12 mini have two cameras, the wide and the ultra wide, and both of them now have night mode. The new wide camera now bring in 27% more light with aperture f1.6. Also, they are available in five different finishes, blue, green, red, black, and white. Besides, the iPhone 12 is 11% thinner, 15% smaller, and 16% lighter than the iPhone 11. 
The iPhone 12 mini is smaller than the 8 or SE2, but it has a bigger 5.4 inch display instead of a 4.7 inch display. The iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max, on the other hand, have three cameras, really similar to the iPhone 11 Pro's camera module, and a lighter scanner, which allows you to scan and map your living room objects and create projects, for example. Night mode also comes to both wide and ultra wide cameras, and the wide camera lets in 27% more light for more more detail and sharper focus day or night. Talking about the colors, the iPhones 12 Pro and Pro Max are now available in Pacific Blue, Gold, Silver and Graphite. At the event, Apple also announced the Apple Pro RAW that gives you all the standard RAW information in detail, Dolby Vision recording and they also talked about the benefits of 5G. The iPhone 12 and 12 Pro pre-orders will start on Friday, October 16th at 5 a.m. Pacific time, with shipments starting Friday, October 23rd. And the smaller 5.4-inch iPhone 12 mini and the larger 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max are launching later. The pre-orders for those models begin on Friday, November 6th at 5 a.m. Pacific time, and shipments will start Friday, November 13th. So these were today's releases by Apple. Please let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed the event or not, and if you're planning on buying anything. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.